One of the keys to consistent coolant performance is good service practices. With this in mind, the Donaldson Company has prepared these step-by-step -step coolant filter service guidelines. Before we look at the actual filter change-out steps, here is some important servicing information. Never use pure antifreeze as it provides less protection than a water antifreeze mix. In traditional water glycol systems, Donaldson test kits can be used for a quick one-minute test that helps you maintain the cooling system chemical balance. Donaldson recommends testing traditional water glycol coolant systems at least twice a year. Donaldson test kits are intended for use with SCA and SCA Plus systems. Full instructions are included with the kits. Systems using non-traditional organic acid technology should follow manufacturer's recommendations. Due to the difference in the chemistry of additives in organic systems, test strips cannot be used for testing organic additive levels. To avoid system pressure and heat, the unit to be tested should ideally be allowed to cool overnight. To test, remove the radiator cap or take a coolant sample from the system petcock if so equipped. It is not recommended to sample from the radiator overflow reservoir. If using a petcock, drain off the first few ounces or 60 milliliters before taking the test sample. Place the test strip into the coolant in the radiator or coolant sample. Remove and after one minute read the results according to kit instructions. If your traditional coolant system additive is below 1.2 units per gallon or 3.8 liters, replace the coolant filter and add a pint or 0.47 liters of additional liquid per each 4 gallons or 15.1 liters of coolant. If your additive is between 1.2 and 3 units per gallon, or 3.8 liters, continue to replace the coolant filter at each oil drain interval. If your additive is greater than 3.3 units per gallon, or 3.8 liters, replace the coolant filter with a non-charged or blank filter and test at the next service point. Repeat this as needed until the additive concentration falls below 3 units per 1 gallon or 3.8 liters when tested at each subsequent service interval. Periodic drain and flushing to clean a system is important because while coolant filters capture large contaminant, sediment can accumulate. After flushing, the system should be refilled with the 50-50 water glycol mixture. Then, install a pre-charged Donaldson coolant filter to bring the additive level up to 1.2 units per 1 gallon, or 3.8 liters. Alternatively, you can use a service filter with a lower pre-charge, together with liquid additive, to reach this desired service point level. Information regarding the Donaldson filters and service steps is simplified by pictograms on the filters themselves. Now here is a brief review of the pictograms that are printed on the side of Donaldson filters. Remove the radiator cap. Do not use tools. Clean filter base. Lubricate gasket with motor oil. Never use grease or fuel. Hand tighten until the gasket contacts the base. Complete tightening for indicated number of turns. SCA coolant chemical, SCA plus coolant chemical. Recycle symbols in different parts of the world. Donaldson's proprietary Syntec media used to manufacture the filter. Now let's discuss maintenance of the coolant system. When a cooling system is serviced, coolant filters are replaced dry. They are not pre-filled with any fluids. After coolant filter installation, the coolant fluid mixture is poured into the radiator overflow reservoir. When performing a filter change, it is best to use a clean cloth during the servicing process. Be sure to dispose of used filters properly. Now here are some recommended coolant filter change-out tips. 
Before installation, remove the radiator cap. Caution: Follow the safety precautions from your engine manufacturer. Be careful since the radiator cap may be hot and the cooling system may be under pressure. Unscrew and remove the old filter. Remove the old filter gasket if one is still attached to the base. Wipe the filter mounting base or head with a clean cloth. Check to ensure that the gasket on the replacement spin-on filter is in place. For installation, apply a thin film of clean motor oil to the new filter gasket. Do not use grease or fuel. Line up the filter threads to the mounting base and thread the new filter on until the gasket contacts the base. Follow the instructions on the filter for a final tightening torque specification. Do not over tighten. Note that not all filters require tools. After installation, pour the coolant fluid mixture into the radiator overflow reservoir. Start the engine and check for leaks. Let's summarize the service steps presented. Remove the radiator cap. Remove the used filter and gasket. Clean the filter mounting head. Lubricate the filter gasket. Line up the filter threads to the receiver. Install new filter per instructions. Start engine and check for leaks. This servicing information is provided as a best practices guide. It is not, however, intended to replace or supersede the service instructions supplied by your engine or vehicle manufacturer.